You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seemed promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear. Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me. I wasn't sticking my fingers in anyone's pie, dear sister. Of course you weren't, just like you weren't working with him. Is it any different than the way you treated father? Father? Oh, Therese, you poor deluded dear. I treated father exactly the way he deserved to be treated. And he treated you like a... You don't say a word about father. Your heart still belongs to daddy after all these years, eh, sister? At least he loved me. You take that back, you bitch! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead. Don't you want to hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community she is today? Shut up. Just shut up! That's right, Jeanette. No one wants to hear your lies. I was the good girl. You were the wicked one. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me. Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. I was always good to father, but Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart, so he killed himself right in our room. Killed himself? Therese! You placed his finger on the trigger once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always angry at you. You drove him to drink. When he died, he was in torment. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? I should turn this on you next, but I won't. 
without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you, you're no threat. I'll call off the feud if that will get you out of my city. Tongue's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business, then, is finally complete. What you witnessed here, not a word to anyone. Do try to stay cautious. I'd hate to see one so promising meet an end because of wayward trust in another. I may have need of someone like you in a few years, if you're still around. Finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, huh? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. News travels down the kindred grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <laughs> How interesting. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. Yeah, the Sabbat like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. <laughs> All right, I guess. Come back when you're ready to go. But don't be too long, fledgling. This isn't really something we planned around your schedule.
Uh, hey, hey. Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... Now, oh, damn it, who told you that? All right, look, I can't have every Jesse and Jamie off the street, you know, coming in here and asking about this. It's not cool. I'm not exactly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal, if you catch my drift here. Look, now, I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. All right. Come and take a look, then. Thanks for coming back. What you need? All right, here's what we got today. Sorry, I'm busy. Buddy, go your own way. Hey there, need a date?
Hello, Andy. I don't care. I need to find him so he can find him. It's 250 grand of my money on the line here. Look, look, I'll talk to you later, okay? Let me know if you hear anything about either. Hello there. How you been? Welcome to Kilpatrick 24-Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Caller, you've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. Yep, sure do. I'm a third-generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. Well, I can't seem to find my damn bounty hunter, Carson. It's pissed me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? I'll pay you for your time. Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I, uh, great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Tonight, a rerun? Deb. Caller number three, what's keeping you up tonight? Deb, listen to me, Deb. They're at it again, and people have got to know. They've got to know because they don't know. They won't report the stuff on the news because they own the news. Hello, Gomez. What's the latest conspiracy? Conspiracy? This goes beyond conspiracy, okay? There's no word for something. Closer to the time of judgment! Time of judgment gets closer every second! case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm going to follow up on another lead I got too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid.
I don't think so, buddy. with Mr. McGee? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? Well, Mr. McGee was going to be doing some modeling for me. Medical reference for the work that I do here in the studio. It's a shame, really. The proposition would have been quite lucrative for him. Why, yes, that sounds delightful. Perhaps you could come down to my studio and we can sort out the details. I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Mm -hmm. 